Hello everyone, welcome to the Random Cantonese Phrase Series. Today I am going to talk about what is I love you in Cantonese. Now I am going to teach you two ways to say it. They're very similar to each other, um, they just uh, have a very very subtle differences in meaning. Uh, so the first one is ngo oi lei ngo oi lei this is basically a direct translation to i love you where ngo is i oi is love and lei is you now the one in the bottom you see there's four kanjis and uh, three of them is very similar well it's the same kanjis as the first one and this one is pronounced ngo ho oi lei ngo ho oi lei so basically the ad uh, of ho means a lot so uh, the bottom uh, uh, phrase of ngo ho oi lei means I love you a lot. Okay, now um, I think this is actually also a good time um, to explain about the pronunciation of you because uh, I do have a few people that uh, have contacted me regarding to that um, lei is mispronounced as uh, in a lot of um, uh, I would say those pinyin that you have in other education materials they will pronounce n-a-y and right here I put l-a-y um, so I would say that it is very, very natural. It is more natural to pronounce L-A-Y than N-A-Y. Um, so a normal, uh, 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 like an, uh, a, a Cantonese person in Hong Kong would most probably say L-A-Y over the N-A-Y. That doesn't mean that N-A-Y is wrong though. So N-A-Y usually is pronounced when um, when you're actually in a more, uh, um, when you have something that, that requires a more formal setting um, in which you need to emphasize the N word. Um, I think a lot of uh, when you do traditional um, public speaking, they would actually emphasize the N sound. Um, again, I've talked to somebody and uh, uh, that studied the Chinese literature here at my local university and it seems like the NAY may be a um, uh, evolved from uh, the Mandarin language as uh, uh, the, 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 the word you is more or less emphasized on the N sound when you speak it in Mandarin. Uh, likewise, uh, back to the topic, why I wanted uh, to bring it up here is because when I'm emphasizing before in saying ngo oi lei, well, in a lot of cases, when you have a casual conversation with someone, you would notice that if the first word of a sentence begins with you, like uh, you are Chinese, which it is lei hai zhong gao yan, that you, the word you, has a pronunciation that follows L-A-Y. And if you say it as N-A-Y, it sounds, um, I wouldn't say wrong, but it just sounds like it's of a different accent. However, however, when I say something like I love you, which is 我爱你, 
Well, you c- sometimes you can hear this from uh, those uh, uh, speaker that has Cantonese as their first language that they would have a subtle N sound to the word you. So it could be pronounced as ngo ngo ne. Um, that is actually pretty natural for us because it's the way on how you uh, transition the sound in the middle of the phrase. So the generic rule I believe is that if the U is starts in the beginning of a sentence or beginning of phrase, it's best for you to say uh, pronounce it as L-A-Y whereas if the U is in the in the middle or in the end of the phrase then it doesn't really matter um, a subtle N sound for like let's say N-A-Y uh, would work um, it wouldn't sound bad at all it, it would sound just as natural um, if it's actually easier for you to pronounce that way um, I would still emphasize that it's still better to pronounce it as uh, the sound of L-A-Y even in this case where uh, I say I love you which is ngo ngo lei So here I would also uh, like to introduce to you uh, something that um, we borrow from the Mandarin language. Uh, now, I myself, I'm not that good in speaking Mandarin, so uh, you guys probably have to bear with me here, as uh, when I am going through the education system, um, English is the is a second language to be learned coincide with Cantonese um, instead of Mandarin. But um, so what I'm trying to um, show you here is that in some cases you would see that um, people would like to use numbers to to represent different kanjis in uh, in uh, Chinese in general and um, sometimes uh, we would actually use some of those that are uh, uh, evolved from uh, the Mandarin language um, and bring those numbers to us and in, in which we use uh, in the same way um, I would speak to that um, in a later video but this one I wanted to specifically emphasize on the numbers that represents I love you now um, bear in mind that this is more catered towards um, uh, the people that are more familiar with the Mandarin languages so uh, some people that speak Cantonese might not know what you're talking about so the number that represents uh, I love you in Chinese is five two zero so now why is that because um, you know, five to zero in in uh, Cantonese is actually mm-yi-leng. and in in Cantonese, I love you is o oi lei. So really, you you can't really find a uh, a relationship between those and if you can it's actually very far-fetched relationship so when you see 520 it actually evolved from the Mandarin language so 520 in Mandarin um, and uh, excuse me for my accent uh, pronounces Wu Er Lin and I love you in um, Mandarin is wo ai ni. So they they take a similar sounding 
uh, a number to represent uh, the kanjis for I love you and that's how they came up with 520 although that we probably wouldn't use it in normal conversations uh, sometimes you would see it in the many billboards in uh, Hong Kong in the Hong Kong streets as well as uh, some people in Hong Kong would actually put this number specifically in their license plates and uh, this is the reason why. And uh, thank you for um, watching my video. Um, if you want to learn Cantonese in a systematic way, I would actually recommend you to take a look at my uh, website or download one of our mobile apps, um, both in iPhone and in Android. I have um, attached a link in the video description. Um, and if you wanted to support us, um, please subscribe to our channel uh, so that you could get our latest uh, videos on learning Cantonese. Um, uh, tweet about us. Uh, uh, or even share it with your friends who got similar interests as uh, you in learning this language. Thank you. Bye-bye.